What's up today, guys? Welcome back to the RT Clinic. Today we are doing the internet sensation. Two patients, one vent. Cut to the intro. All right, I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. First thing you need is two vent circuits. You see these are Draeger coaxial vent circuits. They're pretty cool because you have inspiratory and expiratory. Inspiratory actually goes down the center to the patient. Expiratory comes on the outside of this and goes to this part right here. So they work really well with HMEs and it doesn't have a lot of extra fluff to have, the, have two uh, vent circuits because they're all kind of packed into one. So that's the first aspect. We have two of those. The next thing you need are two nebulizer setups. Ours are from Salter. Uh, of the neb nebulizer setup, all you're going to take out is the T. So the clear T out of both nebulizer setups. All right, let's go down and hook this thing up. So let's take the first circuit. We're actually going to put the neb nebulizer T's on here. That's the inspiratory side with two ports. Now the expiratory side with two ports. And you can see that there. Inspiratory side on this one, we can hook it up over here and hook the expiratory side up here. Actually, it might be easier to do it that way. Like this, and then do it like that. So there's the first one hooked up and there's that circuit ready to go. Second circuit. It goes right here, attach there on the inspiratory side, and att attach right here for the expiratory side. Let's see, run it out the front. Let's see, and there we go. So now we have two going the inspiratory, two going the expiratory. So let's run this dude, and let's watch some ventilation. So there's a couple real keys to this is uh, when you are when you're running this vent, uh, the uh, aseptic type technique is really out the door. Uh, this is more of what you're going to use in a pinch. Of obviously, we would use on the end here, since we're not using active humidification, we're going to use an HME on the end of this. So you can see how we're going to run each one of those. Highly recommend if you're going to do this and you have to run two patients off of one ventilator. This is when you're going to be ventilating patients that are going to be sedated, paralyzed, totally out of it, you just need to ventilate them. So we're going to go to assist control, but we're going to do PC assist control. So let's go here, uh, turn on the vent, and you're going to see PC assist control coming up right here at the top. I'm starting with high pressures. So you see I'm starting at 30, uh, rate of 15, peep of 10. I'll take that down a little bit. And then so... And there we go. So right now, with that easy setup, we have both of these patients running. So we could have one on this side over here, one on this side over here, and you're ventilating both. Um, they're not going to be taking any spontaneous breaths because you should have sedated paralyzed them at this point. Um, but uh, we could ventilate both of them with this vent. I wouldn't recommend volume control. It gets a little funky with cutting volumes in half and whatnot. But um, pressure control, it's going to stop the breath once you deliver the full pressure. So other things you can think about is, de is increasing your eye time a little bit to get the full breath in. I've got a little bit of a leakage down here, which is a real easy fix. That's what you're seeing up there at the top. But this can continue to run and ventilate both patients. It takes the place of an RT ventilating like this. <laughs> If you're in a pinch, you need to put a lot of people on the ventilator at once. So just a little uh, helpful hint that you can use if you're um, if you ever need assistance to run two patients on a vent at once. Thank you for watching. See ya.